Melbourne's central city is grappling with escalating congestion. Overcrowded footpaths, gridlock trams and buses are becoming the norm, and the advent of driverless cars threatens to exacerbate the problem. With the city's population projected to soar from 4.5 million to 8 million by 2051, the demand for more space on streets is imminent. Enter the North East Link. A monumental $26 billion investment aimed at transforming Melbourne's transportation landscape. This project, the largest of its kind in Victoria, includes the construction of 6.5 kilometre tunnels from Wastonia to Bulleen designed to fill the critical gap in Melbourne's freeway network. These tunnels will not only remove 15,000 trucks from local roads daily, but also cut travel times by up to 35 minutes. Scheduled to open in 2028, the North East Link will radically reshape how Melbourians navigate their city. How will these tunnels reaching the depth of a 15-storey building under the Yarra River revolutionise urban transit? Let's go back to 1969. Imagine a city bursting with potential, with plans laid out for 510 kilometers of new freeways. Melbourne's grand vision included the Metropolitan Ring Road and the Eastern Freeway. But here's the twist. They also planned three crucial north-south freeways to link these major routes. Now, if you look here, you'll see the F6 along Darebin Creek, the F18 through Watsonia and Bulleen, and the F7 via Eltham. But just as things were getting started, the grand plans hit a roadblock. In 1972, leadership changed, and with it, many of these freeway routes were cancelled. The Metropolitan Ring Road and Eastern Freeway survived, but the vital north-south connections were shelved. Moving to the late 1970s, despite promises to the contrary, planning for these connections quietly continued. Four new proposals emerged, ranging from local road improvements to brand new arterial roads and even freeway constructions. These proposals, however, never became a reality, leaving Melbourne's freeway network incomplete. Jump to 2007. A major report reignited the idea of a north-east link. Despite political wrangling and public resistance, the need for a solution became undeniable. By 2016, the city was bursting at the seams, with congestion reaching critical levels. It was clear something had to be done. In 2017, the government finally took action, setting aside funds to start planning the North East Link. They proposed four potential routes. If you look here, Route A emerged as the favourite. This route plans to bridge the gap with a mix of above-ground roads and tunnels, particularly between Lower Plenty Road and the Eastern Freeway at Bulleen. Let's dive into the heart of the North East Link project, the largest and most expensive road undertaking in Victoria's history. There will be two massive 6.5 kilometre tunnels, longer and deeper than any other in Melbourne, reaching depths equivalent to a 15-storey building under the Yarra River in Bulleen. The scale of this project is staggering. Starting at Watsonia, these tunnels will extend south to Bulleen. Initially, they will have three lanes for cars, expanding to four lanes from Bulleen to the Eastern Freeway. This freeway itself will expand to over 20 lanes in some areas to accommodate the expected increase in traffic once the project opens. Construction will involve excavating nearly 6 million tons of rock and dirt. The tunnels will reach depths of up to 45 meters below the ground, particularly under the Yarra River. To achieve this, two tunnel boring machines, TBMs, designed in Germany and built in China will be used. These TBMs, each powered by 11,420 horsepower engines, equivalent to the power of 47 cars, will cut through the rock at a pace of 12 to 15 meters per day. As they tunnel forward, these machines will simultaneously lay down 44,000 concrete panels to form the tunnel walls. Each tunnel will be 16 meters wide, with the panels crafted specifically in this project for Ben Alla. The construction areas in Watsonia and Bulleen will be extensive, 
with the Watsonia site stretching 2.2 kilometers from near the Watsonia rail station to Lower Plenty Road in Yolambi. The process begins with these TBMs grinding into the pre-prepared walls of the Watsonia pit. From there, they will tunnel under significant landmarks, including the Simpson Army Barracks in Yelambi and 150 houses in Rosanna and Heidelberg. Before any of this could happen, engineers meticulously mapped the underground landscape, drilling 2,700 boreholes along the tunnel route to ensure precision. As the machines dig, they will reach their deepest point 45 meters below the Yara River. They will move almost in parallel, with one TBM trailing slightly behind the other to avoid excessive pressure on the surrounding earth. The tunnels will be separated by about 7 meters of earth, with emergency passages built in intervals of around 110 meters for safety. These passages will allow motorists in one tunnel to escape to the other in case of an emergency. At the surface, the rock and soil excavated by the TBMs will be transported via a conveyor belt to an enormous shed. This conveyor belt stretching from the launch pit in Watsonia to Windsor Reserve in Macloyd will carry the spoil at a steady speed of nearly 13 kilometers per hour. Once deposited in the shed, trucks will transport the material away, primarily using the nearby ring road. Building these tunnels requires precise, high-tech machinery and dedicated crews. Each TBM will have a crew of 20, working continuously day and night. Behind the massive cut ahead, the workspace will be a 90-meter long hub equipped with engines, a control room, break rooms, basic site rooms, and emergency facilities like a hyperbaric chamber. In addition to the main tunnels, smaller tunnels will be constructed using road headers. These machines dig out the top 8 meters of rock, support the arch with rock bolts, and spray concrete in layers. Once the arch is secure, the road header digs out the bottom half, repeating the process. This method will be used for the 430 meter stretch of tunnels from Bulleen to the Eastern Freeway, passing under 30 properties and taking about a year to complete. The Northeast Link isn't just about tunnels, it includes the construction of a new dedicated busway along the Eastern Freeway, serving the Doncaster area and new park and ride facilities. This busway will improve public transport options and ease congestion on local roads. The project is a massive undertaking, with costs now at $26.1 billion. It's set to transform Melbourne's transport infrastructure, providing a seamless travel experience for around 100,000 vehicles a day. This new route will significantly ease congestion, especially for freight operators. By improving the flow between industrial hubs in Dandenong, Camperfield, and the new freight hub near Donnybrook. With Melbourne's northern population expected to hit 1 million by 2026, the North East Link will reduce the resilience on busy roads like Fitzmons Lane, Heidelberg Road, and Rosanna Road. It will also enhance access to Melbourne Airport and other popular regional destinations, allowing traffic to bypass central Melbourne altogether. As the tunnel boring machines make their steady progress, they lay the groundwork for a new area of urban transit. Once completed, the tunnels will not only cut travel times and remove 15,000 trucks from local roads daily, but also boost connectivity across the city. This project promises a future where getting around Melbourne is faster, easier, and more efficient. However, the project has its critics. Some argue that the North East Link doesn't fully complete Melbourne's ring road as it relies on the existing Eastern Freeway. Others worry about the expected shift from public transit to road use, potentially adding 25,000 more commuters to the road each day. Community opposition has been strong, with several local councils and community groups challenging the project. Legal actions and resolutions against the chosen route reflect the concerns of those impacted by the planned tollway. Despite these challenges, the North East Link remains a crucial development for Melbourne's future promising to reshape how the city moves and grows. If you enjoyed the video, subscribe, comment, and turn on notifications for more similar content.